Thanks for coming to the clinic. What can I help you with since you're here? Thank you for asking. It appears we've got a patient's problem. I, I, I've just, I don't know where the patient is, when it's going to come. Yes, yes, it seems we've hit a brick wall in our training. Yes, well, you know, all the problems with patients. I, uh, I just don't know what to do. But uh, we've come to our wit's end, I might say. Yes, well, you might say we've come to our wit's end. Yeah, we've been mucking about, mucking about. And uh, just, I really believe it's a patient problem. We're not quite sure what to do. Hoping you can help us. <laughs> also seems to be quite a problem with attention. Yes, don't know what quite we can do about that. But it's become a problem. And uh, as I said before, previously, before, right before, previously, <laughs> I believe it's a, it's a roadblock. <laughs> well, Mr. Delton, it's true that a lot of horses suffer from impatience and inattention. The reality is, Mr. Delton, that a horse can never learn to focus if we don't learn how to actively listen, to quiet our minds, and to reward the horse for small efforts that they make. A lot of times when we find ourselves starting a sentence with, well, I was just, we find that we weren't listening to anything that came before. So when you're working with your horse, their inattention and their lack of patience often comes from frustration from not getting enough guidance because the person is chattering away in their minds too much and not actively watching and guiding the horse. So the most important part of developing patience and attention is learning how to actively listen to their expression and their body language and then do something about it. And if you're so busy chattering away, you're going to miss all of those small cues and you won't be able to reward. And then you'll, then you'll only notice when something has gone wrong and be correcting instead of actively guiding and preventing. Learning to quiet your mind, observe the horse, and be there is a big part of attention and patience. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? So, so uh, 40 blackbirds in a pie, isn't it? Well, I can tell you. I've just come from another clinic last weekend. I was just about to. Let me help you with something. That should take care of that.